Hi everyone. What I'm wanting to share is how I've added this trailer to my power wheelchair. You can see right now that I've got it all loaded up with donations that I'm going to be taking to a thrift store after I finish filming the video. So let me start at the very beginning. You'll see right in here that there's some tubing. I specifically say square tubing that's bolted to the seat pan. There's one bolt there and then there's the second one for redundancy. So those two bolts go where the body weight is already expected on a power wheelchair. And they come to a lawnmower, like a riding lawnmower type bearing. So that's in there and I'll put a picture of it from the computer screen uh, where I purchased it. Then I had a local metal fabricating shop. I made engineering drawings for this piece to extend the length between the trailer and the wheelchair and the, the trailer hitch. So the reason this extender piece was needed was because I've done some really fancy things with the lighting. In fact, you can see that one's for brake and turn signals, the junction box LEDs and the orange LEDs. These match back here. There's a better focus of the parameter lights that are orange and then the left and right turn signals and an LED light bar. So the reason that space was needed was so if I turn the corner, I won't end up turning the wheelchair into all the electronics, arcing the power and starting a fire. Now, what I've used for all this is a seven wire trailer hitch. I've ordered the parts that'll amount to plugging this into the wheelchair, like right there. And what I'm gonna end up setting up just for the wheelchair is four-way flashers. That is flashing the red LED light bar for traffic behind me. And when this is connected to the mobility scooter, it'll reflect the turn signals there and there running lights at night and then stopping lights are bright red as well as being in sync with when I'm turning the corner. So this little guy here is a mobility scooter trailer. There's no reason why it couldn't be used with the wheelchair. You could just as well use a wagon and all you need to think about is the space between the wheel and if it's gonna crash into or jackknife would be the technical term have a jackknife between the wheelchair and this the final part i need to talk about is what can you reasonably expect from this so there's two motors on my wheelchair they're made for someone weighing up to about 400 pounds. So this trailer, it's rated for 88 pounds. But if you look at the size of it, I mean, in round numbers, it's probably 32 inches there and about 18 inches on the inside storage. You wouldn't practically be using this for more than 88 pounds. So it works for that. My body weight's around 190 pounds. So I'm below the threshold where the wheelchair is able to pull this. The caveat though, and this is really important, is more weight means more electricity from the wheelchair batteries down in that compartment. So you have to really think about how far you're going. So if I'm taking all these donations, these ones are going to go to Value Village and 
I can manage the trip without running out of power, but I won't take a second trip that day because of the extra drain on the batteries as if I was weighing more. I do want to point out that the connection to the wheelchair is in the center and there is two for redundancy, the two bolts. I've done the same here. I've used existing holes in the seat pan there and on that side. And those are for safety change, just in case for some crazy reason if this was to fail. You know, these bolts are all common size. I have settled on 5 sixteenths of an inch, but I need to be clear with you that you decide bolts based on need, anticipated force, and for example, ensuring the bolt, bolt spindle, that's the part of the bolt that's solid with no threads, is going all the way through, and then you're down in threads below, so that it has the full strength of the metal. Otherwise, it's like you're putting in, you know, a quarter inch bolt would be without or with threads in it. So you don't want to lose that strength for pulling. That's part of your safety. And you definitely want to keep yourself safe if you're making any changes. My final sort of comment on this is you don't need to do what I've done for all the fancy lighting. You could simply have a few switches here and a relay that's the turn signal that a 12 volt vehicle or boat uses to flash left, right, or four way flashers. And you could have a little uh, 12 volt, seven amp hour battery running that instead of joining it to the wheelchair. You're going to void your warranty if you connect to the wheelchair um, batteries. And there's pros and cons to this. Talk to people in your life that are an electrician and understand what you're trying to accomplish. And I'm sure even an hour of consultation fees would be well worth it when you sit there and do the math. I mean, I've got fuses. There we go. I've got fuses all here and I've got LEDs here to show that the fuses are blown when they're powered on. But overall, showing you this, showing you that I've been doing some cleaning, showing you the results of my cleaning and being very ruthless in what I'm getting rid of, is to say to you, live your life, live it to the fullest, and then use the wheelchair as a tool for life and not a handicap. Thanks for this time that you spent with me today. Bye for now.